All right, so hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. The MCG family here with another challenge for the channel. Yes, so I was debating on this and I said, you know what? I always say, you know what? And you, when you hear, you know what? You know what? Chris is up to something. Yes, she is. Well, I wanted to do this challenge, which is called Cheaper by the Dozen. This was a redo, redo by Don't Cry For Me. I will leave all their information in the description down below. If you guys are interested in doing it yourself, I will also leave the lot information that we placed here in Windenburg. So basically, this story is based off the movie Cheaper by the Dozen. It's also based off a book by, and I hope I'm saying this name right, Gilbreth, yes, Gilbreth. If that's the way you say it, that would be awesome. If not, I apologize. But the Gilbreth Dozen with Mom Lillian and Dad Frank, or even the Baker's Dozen with Mom Kate and Dad Tom. Well, these movies were based off a book written by Ernest Stein. Don't know if I'm saying that right either. Gilbreth Carey and Frank B. Gilbreth Jr. It was written about their family and more importantly, the role their father played in their lives before his passing. So, there are a few things you have to do in this challenge, which I'm really super duper excited about. We went ahead and created a sim and make a couple of any age. This will do, but prefer, perf really, preferably, preferably young adults. You can name them anything as well. I just use Lily. Okay. We didn't All right. So there's Lily. a couple rules to this challenge. Uh, first, you are to enter create a sim and make a couple. Any age will do, but preferably young adults. And you can name them any way you'd like. So one sim should have the following traits. Um, for this uh, sim, I chose Frank. And he is going to be a goofball, family-oriented, and perfectionist. The other sim should have these traits, preferably Kate or whoever else you decide to name her. Uh, Family-oriented creative, and she will write books to help bring in some money. All right, uh, very happy. So you are to place your couple in a modest size lot that isn't too small, but won't completely drain your money. You can design however you wish. Now this is a pretty free thinking challenge, but a few rules must be taken to heart. All right, so this is the interesting part, guys. First, you must have at least one parent working at all times and never switch jobs. They're in it for the long haul. You may never hire a nanny to care for the kids or clean the house. However, once you acquire enough funds, you may hire a maid. You cannot use money cheats for personal gain. However, if one of the kids is two days away from becoming a child and you need a room for them because the nursery is overcrowded, you can take a loan out for $2,000 using cheats, but this is considered a loan and you must pay back the bank once you make the money. So pretty much use your own judgment when it is necessary to take the loan, but you will pay, you will need to pay that money back. So the idea of this challenge is to have and raise 12 kids from babies to teenagers with all of them on honor roll, you can only have two children at most below school age at a time. You may only have two sets of twins throughout the entire challenge. So no fertility perks, cheats, and you get to eight kids. So here are some things that I tweaked, um, rules that I tweaked. All children must be in a hobby and do activities, and all teams must attain a part-time job as well. Lastly, and more importantly, have fun. So basically what our kids are going to do, they're going to have to paint. They're going to have to play an instrument. They're going to have to do something that's an extra curricular activity of some sort to help build up their skills. So all 12 kids, maybe 11, must reach adulthood with all the accomplishments they could get. Everything they want in life must be fulfilled. So we're going to enter into our family. And real quick, I know that I wrote it down and you're going to hear me open my desk. I'm really sorry. But I did write it down because I want you guys all to know who made this awesome looking house. I was so lucky when I went on to the Sims Gallery and found that somebody had built this house. 
and all credits and a thousand trillion million hugs go to this person. Her name is Sarah Maria. I think that's how you say it. Sarah Maria 646. This lot is named Cheaper by the Dozen and it is about $302,000. So it is a really nice house. It's really, truly nice. We left it furnished. Um, I did lock some doors, I'll show you, but what we're gonna do is gonna get started. Um, Frank is in the athletic career and Kate is literally staying home, writing books, working on her novels, as you saw in the intro or the trailer, I guess you can say. That's basically, sorry, that is entirely way too loud. But that's basically what she's going to do. And if you recall, that's how it kind of happened in Cheaper by the Dozen movie. Now, I'm not going to follow the whole entire movie. Our goal is to have 12 kids. Um, and we're going to work really hard with having 12 kids. So I don't know if um, she is going to be, come pregnant right away. But we will have to see. So she is here. I think she worked, Kate, beautiful Kate, has to resume right in one blue shoe, a tale of lost and found. So finish that up and let me show you around the house. So we literally have, this is a gorgeous house, guys. Please, if you are interested in doing this challenge, I will leave all this information in the description down below. It is going to be a fun challenge. Can we really have 12 kids? Do you really think we can? I don't know. I've never had 12 kids. And I'm hoping that we have it set on the right settings to where, um, let's go to game play. Um, lifespan is long, auto age, unplayed Sims, enables unplayed Sims to age over time. If disabled, your Sims will not age up. Okay, no, we don't wanna do that and I think um, I think we're all good. All right. I think we're good with that. But yes, yeah, so she is going to finish writing her book. But look at this house. Isn't it beautiful? It is so stinking cool. They did a great job. I don't know where to begin about how happy I am that I found this lot. And I give so much credit to the builder. She did a magnificent job. So this is the front of the um, house. And you will also see over here too, they have 9,978 simoleons. Um, I went ahead and modified their funds to where like, you know, um, they wouldn't have as much because the house was $302,000. It's a lot of money, believe it or not. But I was gonna leave it unfurnished and I'm like, you know what? I am not really in the building furnishing mood right now, even though I will go ahead and um, mess around with some other of these um, pieces of furniture and put in some more stuff like from the backyard fun pack. Oh, we'll definitely do that. And even the kids stuff. Like, So this is a great challenge. Besides the fact that I have a couple other challenges going on, I was so interested in doing this and I really thought it was cool and I really want to see if you guys will go ahead and do it too. It is a fun challenge. It's a long challenge, but we're going to see how that goes. So here is the kitchen, a very big kitchen, as you can see. You have a bathroom here. You have like a hallway here. You have a craft room over here where she can paint. Here is an office, another hallway. You have a living room with a piano and a bookcase. Here is the main like entryway, which is very nice. Very nice, very big. I love the stairs off to the side. Here is the dining area. And you also have a like little closet right here, which is very interesting. I like that. Another bathroom over here. And then you have like the hallway that comes from the main room like when you walk into the house. So you walk in this way and then you kind of go up. And if you have to use the bathroom, you go right there or come out. I actually should put a door. Now, actually, I think we're good. But you have another bathroom here. So it's really nice. It's really cool. I wonder if she finished that book. 
she oh kate needs to unblock her inner writer to do this go find something fun to do for a while all right she's gonna watch some tv um and what is tom what are you doing you are i need you to go ahead and go jogging all right so kate's right here nice and let's go take a look on upstairs so this is the upstairs we have so many bedrooms now i didn't want to go ahead and take these rooms out so what i did was let me see i don't think she can go in here i think i locked it so she may not be able let's see if she can do it i might have just locked these doors so she she can't oh she can go in all right but the whole point of me of locking these doors was every time they have a kid and once a kid grows up we're gonna unlock one of these doors right here which is cool so right now they are located over where is our main bedroom now i'm lost it is a huge house um there's a nursery on the other side so what we'll do is we'll move these two little bassinets like in here and then if it's a boy when the boy grows up we'll move him here and then we have the girls so yes it's a really big house very big i wonder how many bedrooms let me say does it tell me guys eight bedrooms six bathrooms and another challenge since they only have almost about 10 grand in their account right now they really truly have to like they really have to let me let me calm down for a second they have to work very hard in order to pay the bills every month to get clothes on their children's backs to go ahead and and cook dinners and stuff like that and Kate has to work from home and when she has kids and Tom has to keep his job he's not allowed to quit we're hoping he doesn't get fired or anything like that so yeah so this is the challenge so far I like it I am I hope that everybody else is gonna enjoy it so she is hungry we're gonna have her come on downstairs and we're gonna have her cook because we need for her to get her cooking skill up so let's do some grilled cheese why not Tom is doing what what are you doing Tom okay you need to go home so we'll follow him home now he is like the young um, Steve Martin, which is really cool. And of course, he's going to have the grayer hair once he gets a little older or when we have more kids. I think it will be interesting. Um, so yes, or let me see. He is stinky. You know what? Hold on a second. Don't go home. I want you to go ahead and dig this. And what else can we? We can't harvest that. Okay, where is? Okay, we'll have you just dig that up real quick and then we'll have you go on him. We'll see what you found because you need to get a shower. All right. So he found the treasure map. Awesome. Now it is dark. He starts work in two days. Um, his workout is complete. And his aspiration, totally forgot to tell, tell you guys what his aspiration is. Um, he wants to be fabulously wealthy. So he has 10000 in reserves. He has to earn 5000 So he has 27 out of that. <laughs> really funny. Um, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna go take a shower. So he's gonna go take a shower and I think I told you guys his traits. So he's business savvy, goofball, family oriented, and perfectionist. All right. We don't have the family trait. All right. And Kate's lifetime wish is to, um, be successful lineage. So she wants to be the caregiver. Read to a child per total two times, two hours, sorry. Become a parent and socialize with your child 10 times. That's going to be really stinking easy. So she's going to go to the bathroom. She's hungry. And we are going to try to get her. Did she eat? I hope she ate. She did. Oh, she has to pay. She's like, I got to pay. And we'll have her. Did she finish her book? We will have to see. Nope, she did not. And then when she is done, we are going to have her come on over here. I know it's dark out, so maybe what we'll do is have her sleep. Um, I really would like for her to 
open seed packets. Oops. So that way we can start with a garden. We can start. Oops, why did I do? I want to just click off of it. All right, we'll click off of it. So let's put that back in hers. So she'll do that. Hopefully she's almost done this book. And you really need to change out of your outfit, girlfriend. Let's change you into your little romper, which I see a whole lot right now with everybody in their Let's Plays. It is a very popular, popular outfit, which is really cool. So she's going to do that. Tom is going to eat. All right, Tom, you eat. And you're going to have to also go to the potty. And when you are done, we are going to have you come on outside and let's work out because we need to work on his skills. He's almost at a two. All right. I don't want to watch you go pay. Sorry. So she is almost there, I think. Yes, because we want her to bring in some money to help pay for these bills because they're going to be outrageous, guys. They are going to be outrageous. Mm -hmm. All right. She's at level three. Um, here goes all these. Let's open seed packet. All right, and she can come on over here when she's done. It is one really early in the morning. Let's have her plant. I wonder if this is going to be enough room to plant everything or if I'm going to have to modify this. It is really, truly dark. I might have to put something over here. We might have to, let's say, we might, if I can go like that, maybe, and then move this over here. Or we can just, oops, trees in a way, trees in a way, trees in the way, Chris. Okay, awesome. And let's see, can we find a light for out here? Because it is really, truly dark. Let's find, oh, look at that. That's awesome. Okay, let's do, or should we? We got black and white, so we can, we can do this. Whoa, $120, no, forget that. Not right now. We need to go simple dimples, guys. Very simple, because they are gonna be very low on funds for a while. Right, and then she wants to, I think we have to go like that. And then maybe I'll have her go right here and right here. But she wants to plant and we're gonna have her plant. So Tom Baker is very playful. Okay, he's a goof of balls. Goof of balls. Um, it is still very early though in the morning. So what else can he do? What can we have him do? Let's go on over here. Let's have you um, open. And let's see if there's a charisma book for you of some sort. I don't think so. Um, I don't want you to order any books. What else can we have him do? Um, we're going to actually have him go on upstairs. And let's have, let's try for baby with Kate. Let's see, hopefully she's done soon. I don't know. The first book always seems like it's the hardest. So we'll fast forward a little bit. All right. Let's see if she can at least go ahead and grab this book. All right, love. He's waiting for you. Okay, she finished her book. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Um... Are they going to go and try for baby? All right. And she planted these, I think, right? Oh, she's not. She's like, nope. Uh, why didn't she go and try? Let's go and let's wake him up real quick. 
Okay, and then we'll try. But I think she is already to tell you the truth. Or we'll just pretend. Yep. Um, it's not even popping up. It's not even popping up. All right. So she's going to go to bed too. Uh, and he is going to go to bed. In their nice little bedroom here. Very nice. And you can see we have the pictures up on the walls that are scaled up, which is really cool. You have them on their wedding day, other pitch, other engagement. And this one, what does this say? This says, I don't know what that says. Just a, a wedding day. My love, Kate, aw. All right, he is hungry. He's gonna wanna come downstairs and grab something to eat. So Kate is still, you know what, Kate? We need to get that trash can for you too. Let's have you serve lunch. Let's serve up some garden salad. And hopefully your hubby does not go. No, don't grab a serving. You're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to sit right here and wait for your wife to feed you. Okay? So she's gonna do that and then she's gonna go to the potty. All right. Um, oh, goodness, you have to pee like right now. So go pee, and then we'll have you serve up some garden salad. Now, I wonder if, let me see. I don't know. I don't think, I think we're just going to wait to see. I don't think she is pregnant, but we'll have to see. All right, now she's going to come over here and cook. Well, he's already eating grilled cheese. So let's go and do a heartfelt compliment. Oh, how sweet. Oh, and look at this. She's eating for two. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness, girlfriend. What are you wearing? You better get out of that outfit. Can you wear that? Look at that. You are a silly goose of balls. All right. We're going to have a new boo. Yay. And I think Rory plays a sim says that. Is that where you get it from, Rory? With a uh, new boo? That's so funny. Okay. I swear that's what she just said. New boo. Okay. Um, go over here and serve up some garden salad. And I really think, I'm serious. If you guys watch Rory plays the sims, she's always talking about the new boos when her sims are going to have babies. So I'm really hoping that's where she got it from. Yay. We love us some Rory. All right, she's going to do that. So, guys, what I'm going to do now... Oh, she has to go out and go and publish this book. Where is our... Where is our mailbox at? Mailbox, where are you? Mailbox, you're all the way over here. Self-publish this book. One Blue Shoe, A Tale of Lost and Found. All right. And I've... Notice in other people's Let's Plays, and I will go ahead and, and leave it open. But if you guys want to name a book, since Kate is going to be writing books for most of her life, you guys have any good titles for her books, you guys can let me know in the comments down below. I would be happy, happy, happy to go ahead and name a book out of your liking. So she is going to go and just eat. Oh, look at how pretty. I want to get a picture. Let's see if she can get a picture, a selfie take a selfie and then we'll have him let's have him come on over and take photo of Kate she's like I am so hungry okay I guess that's not gonna happen all right mister let's have you clean up and you can put this away Kate you're okay Kate's gonna come out and hopefully try Oh, look at that picture. Look at you, Kate. You're so all right, everybody. So what I'm going to do now is end this part here. So I thank you all for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy this as much as I am. And I love you all. And I'll see you very soon in the next video. All right. Have a great day. Bye.